darlings, welcome to Tea with Justine. If you haven't seen Crazy Rich Asians yet, just drop everything you're doing and go to the theater right now and watch it. I mean, wait till you finish this video and then go to the theater and watch it. I promise you, you will love it. It is glorious. If you read my vlog, you know how much this movie means to me. I mean, first of all, it is just a damn good rom-com. It is the kind of rom-com we've all missed and have all been craving. It makes you laugh cry, it makes you cry cry, and it just made me cry all over because this movie is my childhood dreams coming true. Except in my childhood dreams, I was Constance Wu. Maybe more like Aquafina. Sometimes I wish I could be like Gemma Chan. I mean, that woman just glides across the scene. Does she even move her legs like she just floats? Anyways, I have never seen in my lifetime Asians portrayed so normally or a bunch of Asians on one screen portrayed in such a dynamic way like a real community of people of all shapes and colors and sizes because that's what real life is like. But no, I'm used to seeing people of color marginalized and stereotyped. I mean, either the account employer or doctor or, you know, someone's like, mm, no, let's not be racist and stereotypical. Let's do the exact opposite. Let's make her the stereotypical dumb blonde, but only she's Asian. That way we're not racist, no. Why are we either super genius smart or super genius stupid? Like, hello, isn't there a whole spectrum of intelligence here that we're missing? Anyways, it was like so cool to basically see myself reflected on the screen because you just don't see that. You don't see yourself like that. Joy Luck Club came out when I was five and at that time I didn't register how significant that was because when I saw the screen I was like, well, pff, that looks pretty normal. It looks like my family every night. It wasn't even until very recently that I realized I've lived my whole life with an identity crisis. Do you know what it's like to be an American person of color, you live with this insane duality that causes so much confusion. I mean, like, I was born and raised in LA, a suburb of LA, but a very multicultural part of LA. So as a kid, you're trying to fit in with the white kids and show them how you are so not different. And yet, you're trying to also not betray your whole race and ethnicity and your family history. And then, being a native Angelina, I'm like, well, psh, I'm part Mexican too, no? I'm basically like a Chinese burrito. I've lived a very confused life, albeit a very incredible life, and I am so grateful for it. But that's not the point of this today. The point is that as I was thinking about this film and reflecting on it, I suddenly was like, oh my gosh, we are finally going to be acknowledged as equals by white people. Like, white people, hopefully, are going to finally see that we are not all just accountants, lawyers, and doctors. We are so much more. And then I thought, no matter what struggles I've had with my banana identity, think of all the women, and apparently some men, who've had eyelid surgery, who've had nose jobs, and who have basically reconstructed their faces to look more white. Hello, Asians of the world. You no longer have to change your face to be more white. Your face, your Asian face is now acceptable. And what about all the Asian kids across America? All the Asian kids across the UK and Australia and all those Anglo countries or mostly white countries. You can totally bring your rice balls to school for lunch and not be made fun of and bring all your crazy Asian snacks and you be the trendsetter. I mean, after all, boba, matcha, goji berries, they're all trendy now. So, Asian kids of America, you be the trendsetters. You are the trendsetters. You bring that shredded squid snack to school. You tell those white kids on the playground, look, this dry shredded squid, it comes from the sea. 
That means it's natural. That means it's good for you. And thus, that means it's trendy. So, boom, trend set. Dried shredded squid for snacks. Ooh, I need some tea now. That all said, you know, we can't be foolish. It is still an old white man's world. But you know what? It is indeed old and outdated. And finally, those old white men, now we probably won't change their minds. They'll still think we're all accountants, lawyers, and doctors. But maybe now they'll all think we're crazy rich too. And the rest of the world will know that we are so much more than just accountants, lawyers, and doctors, we are also crazy rich. Well, most of us are just crazy and not rich, but who cares? Whatever white people think, that's what matters. I hope you enjoyed that bit of cultural insight and revelation. And if you did, please hit subscribe. And even if you didn't, y'all, just help out a crazy not rich Asian sister out. Because I do have law school student loans to pay back and that ain't a pretty picture. Like it, click that thumbs up, leave a comment. All of that helps boost my videos to the top. And you all want my childhood dreams to come true now, don't you? Also, if you want to catch more of this crazy train, remember to follow me on social media because there's a lot more action going on there every day. And stay tuned for more because I love discovering the world through tea with you. See you all soon. Toodles!